the studies concluded, there are a few things I'm, I'm comfortable sharing. Um, when I first began co-facilitating as the female in the room in the cancer anxiety study with psilocybin, um, I was very unsure of how I would respond to working with people near death. I had a normal healthy fear of what is that like. Um, as open-minded as I like to think that I was, some of that stigma about cancer was still influencing me. How could it not in this society? And um, I, I found that it was uh, easier just uh, than anticipated because they're just people. But about five months in uh, to working on the study, um, out of the blue, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I would say uh, it was a real asset. It really accelerated my training as a, as a future clinician uh, because I had such a visceral um, experience of that deepened rapport. Uh, in some ways, it suddenly felt as if I was speaking this new language, cancerese. I knew the shorthand and the acronyms, and I understood the treatments. And so that helped with that initial part of psychedelic therapy, because it, it, it really helps to think of it as, as a process that happens on a continuum. And the drug effects are just one little teeny part of that timeline. In that initial preparatory stage, being able to come from a place of true empathy was, was very helpful. I don't think it's essential. I don't think it's necessary to have the same condition. And, and as, as we'll all acknowledge, um, we all face our mortality in one level or another, but there was something so poignant about suddenly wondering about how much time I had left. Fortunately for me, my, I, I caught the cancer early. It was aggressive, but I caught it at stage one. So in a, after a few months, my fears that um, I would be dying soon were allayed, but that insight stayed with me and just allowed a deeper, connected, empathic rapport uh, with the participants in the study.